so the first thing for the valve symbol is to find out that valve symbols require two important parameters the first thing is we need to understand the construction and the working of the valve plus we need to understand what is the generic symbol and we add both of them together then we'll get to know each and every valve symbol and there is no need to memorize any symbol so let's start by logically understanding each and every valve symbol the first one is a simple one which is ball valve the construction of a ball valve is very simple there's a ball in between which rotates and tries to regulate the flow so let's have the generic valve symbol and the ball put in between so this is a simple ball valve pnid symbol as per isa 5.1 however in certain pnids the same symbol is shown like this even this stands for a ball valve symbol even though it's not exactly as per isa 5.1 this still represents a ball valve symbol so in a plug bell if you see the construction uh, as the name suggests a plug is used to basically modulate the flow so in this case what we would have is first the generic valve symbol and the plug is represented like this so this is your plug valve pnid symbol seems simple right now let's look at another interesting example butterfly valve construction now it's difficult to draw a butterfly in between right so in that case how does a butterfly symbol been shown so for that case one thing is as per isa 5.1 imagine these two to be the ends of the valve and then butterfly is kind of like a vein in between so it's basically opening and closing so this is shown with this line so this line represents the vein going open and close now one more thing is in terms of the common symbol this is what isa shows but sometimes in certain projects the same symbol is shown like this with a dot in between so basically that is the rod that is moving the butterfly veins so basically this symbol is one of the most common practices that have been found so regardless of exact symbol it might differ a bit but overall you can understand with respect to the construction that this symbols are for butterfly valve this video is part of the master class on Udemy called as how to learn PNID in a brand new way. I think you would find it super valuable. The link is given in the pinned comment and in the description. Pinch valve construction. So now in pinch valve, if you would see the construction inside of a pinch valve is something like this, where when we try to close or open the valve, these forces are applied here, which try to in a pinching effect, try to modulate the flow, either open the flow or close the flow. So let us try to logically make the pinch valve symbol. So here in terms of making first, let us make the body of the valve. And then on the top side, there is this pressure put and from the bottom side, this pressure put, right? So both of them will put together so this pinching effect is shown by this pnid symbol now let us look at the construction of check valve check valve are one of the most widely used valves the construction is very simple you have this check valve vein which will close it and then you have this flow coming through it which will try to open and the flow will pass through it but if the flow goes in the opposite direction this will close and it would not allow the flow to go back so basically a check valve will allow flow only in one direction now let us try to make the check valve symbol so here are the two end connections and because it will allow only in one direction the symbol is shown with this arrow here so do not confuse this with a butterfly symbol where you will have no arrows whatsoever but in a check valve you would be having arrows to show that the flow is in only one direction now there is one thing called as non-slam check valve here the effect when you know the flow is going in the opposite direction it will slam the wall and it would create a hammer effect so in order to mitigate that this is the same symbol which is shown for check valve and here here a cushioning effect is shown with this lines here so this is the symbol for a non slam check wall next thing is a needle valve symbol now for a needle valve the construction is again important to us so in a needle valve construction if you see inside here there's a small needle here which tries to regulate the flow so let us try to make this symbol with respect to this understanding so here's the valve symbol and a needle is kind of represented like this this is a needle valve symbol this symbol is not usually part of the isa 5.1 symbology but needle valves are important and they are shown in a lot of pnids with this this particular symbology 
Now, let's look at one of the most widely used valve, which is a globe valve. The construction of a globe valve is very complex, if you see. It's got this kind of trim material and the seat and everything. So what engineers decided was, why not make it simple? So we are confused about it. So let's make a black dot here coming and then a generic valve symbol. So whatever is this confusing shape inside is covered in this black dot. And this means it is a globe valve symbol. I hope you have liked this video in terms of the valve symbols and we'll also make a summary of this so that you're able to rep relate to it and then use it in the further projects.